Hello and welcome to Tempest Weekly. This time we will be discussing WoW vs Rift. What do you mean by that, you may ask? Well, we're going to talk about both games and how the players of the different games insist that the other game sucks. First off, we look at WoW players. Now a lot of WoW players insist that Rift is a terrible game and that it's just a WoW clone. Is this true? No, it's not. It's not a WoW clone, though if you play it you will notice a lot of similarities. This is completely normal for two games in the same genre, which is the MMORPG. Much like Ratchet and Clank and the Jack series are both in the same genre of platform games, neither of them are clones. Much like StarCraft is not a Command and Conquer clone. Just because a game is in the same genre as another older, very successful game does not in any way make it a clone, and the host of differences that some players may ignore would soon show you this. Is Rift a terrible game? Again, no, it's not. It's very enjoyable in many ways, much like most MMOs, it can be very grindy at times. But when you're in the middle of a massive invasion with an FPS of 2, it doesn't feel very grindy. Instead, it feels kind of epic, and has you praying to survive the fight you can barely see. Well, unless your computer is a very powerful machine at least. Next up, it's the Rift players side of things. There are a lot of players in Rift that used to play WoW, and these players will insist that Rift is infinitely better than WoW. The truth is, WoW is also a good game. Which one you find more enjoyable or better is truly up to the person rather than the game. There are certain aspects about both games that I prefer to the other. For example, in Rift you have so much more to do outside the city. You can go do rifts or hold off in invasions. My favorite parts of the invasions are the ones in Ember Isle, allowing players to upgrade the defenses to battle endlessly with the beasts of the plains. I love that. But on the other hand, when it comes to doing dungeons, the queues are very long because there are four roles to fill instead of just the three in WoW. Tank, healer, DPS, and support. I'm not sure whether support truly offers enough to justify the long queue times. In WoW, you can run through mobs on your mounts and be absolutely fine. In Rift, you can try this, but you will end up walking a long, long way. So I prefer being able to just dart through the wilderness without getting dismounted every five seconds. Rift has so many set bonuses on different gear sets, and on some sets you can even change the set bonuses by putting in a different synergy crystal. In Rift, you reach max level and continue leveling after that for planar attunement. Whereas in WoW, you reach max level and that's that. Now because of Rift requiring a much shorter grind to reach max level, I don't mind having to level after max. But if leveling time increases or planar entunement resets with expansions, I doubt that I will be very happy at all. I hate fishing in Rift and in WoW. Absolutely no change. I hate it just as much in both games even though the way you fish in the games is very different and the difficulty of leveling fishing is also very different, I still hate it. Forgive me. Though I will admit not having to equip the fishing poles in Rift makes it so much better so that you can actually fight if you get ambushed while fishing. But then again, watching people fight ferocious beasts with a fishing pole is really funny. <laughs> Rift puts out a lot of content patches. Now this is tricky. I'm not currently raiding in either game, but I like to finish content before the next amount of content comes out. I can't actually say how this works out in Rift because I simply don't have the first hand experience and I'm not going to just guess how it works. But in WoW, despite very few content patches, I still feel like they rushed it way too much in Cataclysm. We had Blackwing Descent, Bastion of Twilight and Throne of the Four Winds, all very fantastic first class raids that I loved. But then they got nerfed and Firelands came out when guilds had barely even started heroic progress. Then Firelands was out with so many bugs, but once it was all sorted it was an epic raid. 
But again, very shortly it was nerfed, though this time it was probably best, as even the professional guilds were really battling. But then, very shortly after the nerf, they pushed out Dragon Soul. Again, I think this was way too soon, and that we had a very long time to do Dragon Soul, but now players are taking a break from WoW because there isn't really anything to do. They really just should have spread the time out more between patches, and I think that they skimped it on this expansion with a tiny amount of content and not very much time to do it in. Sorry, Blizz, I can't say you did your best work in Kata, and I hope that that changes in MOP. As for Rift's raid content, I can neither praise nor moan about it, as I said. One of the biggest differences I have noticed is that there is very little community content on Rift, which adds to the difficulty as there are very few add-ons and a tiny amount of user content to help players learn things about the games. But as Rift grows and time marches on, this will change. In the end, both WoW and Rift are fantastic games that I will be playing into the future as I enjoy them both. There is definitely room for both games and I think the main reason that players defend the game they play so fiercely is partly out of loyalty and partly out of fear of the other rival game killing the game they love so much. Personally, I hope these games continue to be great and perhaps the competition they create will cause both WoW and Rift to pull up their socks and keep making some incredible content for us. This has been Tempest Weekly, WoW vs Rift. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And if you have any weekly suggestions or thoughts, feel free to post them in the comments. Good luck and have fun.